hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about move mouse to image action in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button so let's get started In Power Automate Desktop, under the mouse and keyboard, you will find an action which is named as Move Mouse to Image, right? And in this Move Mouse to Image action, you know, you have an option uh, which says that, okay, select an image, right? And from here, you can capture the image, right? And if you have already captured an image, you will get a list of image right from where you can choose one image right and then here it gives an option that mouse movement style there are four options available one is instant another one is with animation it will have a very slow speed you know and with animation normal speed and with animation high speed right so these are the options you can choose and then you can define the number of occurrence if you move your mouse over this eye icon it says that the occurrence of the image found to move the mouse to so let's say on a you know on a window or maybe on a web page there are five uh, images available right and to which image you want to move it so let's say out of five you want to move your mouse to the third image right then you'll have to specify here three right and then it gives you an option to choose like send a click after moving the mouse so you can enable this and then it gives you an option to, to choose like which mouse button you want to click left click right click double click you know left button down left button up right button down and right button up and middle click so these are the options you have so whatever you know you think is uh, applicable for your need you can choose the right click type and then you have an option to choose like in the advanced you will get uh, you have multiple options here actually so for example as you have fail timeout so let's say here you can specify that if the mouse if the image does not appear in 10 seconds right you want to fail it right and then as soon as this image is not found on the screen it will give an error the next option is seconds before click right so after moving the mouse to an image you need to specify that how many seconds you want to wait before performing a click right so let's say if I say that after moving the mouse to an image you need to wait for two seconds right and then then it, it should perform the click so that you can specify here the next option is that image matching algorithm so there are multiple options I mean image in image matching algorithm you have two options one is basic another one is advanced right so in the basic if you see these are the options available so here it tells you that to which part of the image you want to click right so by default it is it should click in the middle of the image but if you want this you want the bot to click on the top left then you can choose this option otherwise you can choose this option so as per your need you can select these options and tolerance tolerance is very important uh, when you are dealing with uh, you know image recognition so let's say when you keep the this number lower let's say five 
right and your bot is not able to detect that image right so you can increase this number but you should not keep this number very high otherwise it will not be able to perform right operation so you should keep uh, this number not that much high also just keep it so that it is able to detect that image and perform the click and here you can also specify that what should be the offset which is x axis and then offset y so these number you can change as per your need right and then we have an option to choose that search for image on so it says that in the entire screen it should search search for it so when you say that foreground window only it means that the window which is in the front only on that screen you want to search for the image and the next option is that search mode so you have two options here search whole screen or foreground window right and search on a specified sub region of screen or foreground window so first of all i'll go ahead with this one and now so now i have explained all these options so what i will do is for now i will click on cancel and i will take so i will go back to the browser here you can see that I have accessed the website which is fake name generator.com right so I'm going to deal with this web page in order to you know use the move mouse to image action so what now I will go back to now I will go back to the power automate desktop and then I will go to the browser automation in the browser automation I will choose launch new Chrome because the web page is already open so I will use attach to running instance and here I will specify the title so this is the title of the web page so I put the generator random name right and here the, the timeout is 5 seconds and the instance will be stored in the browser now I will click on save ok so now I will go to mouse and keyboards and here I have an option to choose move mouse to image so from here I will click on select image and then I will click on capture image and if you click on this drop down you have an option to choose capture image in 3 seconds capture image in 5 seconds and capture image with custom delay so these options can be usefully you know in case so there is you know when you click on a button then the child elements or child items appear in those cases it can be useful so if you click on capture image in three seconds you can by the time you can go ahead on the web page and click on that button so that the child elements or items appear and then you can make the make the selection so for now what I will do is I will click on capture image in three seconds or let's say capture image in five seconds now I'm on the web page here you can see that it gives you an option to which says that okay capture image in three seconds so now you can see that this item is available now so I can make the selection so now I will make the selection where I want to move the mouse so this is how you can left click and just move your mouse so the selection will be made and once you are done you can release the left mouse button so this selection is done now you can name the image so image I'm going to name let's say just keep it image for now you can rename it as per your requirement 
I will click on OK. Now here you can see when I select this image, you know, it has made the selection which says that your randomly generated identity, right? And then I will choose the option as with animation low speed. Okay. And then occurrence is first one and send a left click, send a click after moving the mouse right and which click I want to perform I want to do a left click in advanced I will go ahead I will choose I will give some you know tolerance so for now the default tolerance is 10 right I will keep it as of now and then we will see whether it is able to detect that image or not if it is not able to detect it then I will change this value right and then I will click on save. Okay, so now I will run the bot. Now you see that bot is moving the mouse. And now in, you can see here that in the Power Automate desktop that in the browser variable it contains web browser in, instance. So this is the value which has been set when I have used this launch new Chrome, right? And see it has the X axis and Y axis value as well. So it is 761 from the x-axis and y it is 242 right and in move mouse to image action if you see that what I have used is with animation low speed I can make it instant right and if I go to advanced here I can choose let's say I will use this time to the top left okay and let's I will use the advanced here right and it is on the entire screen I want to fail this after five seconds which is fine as of now and let's say let's say if I, I will reduce this tolerance and then if it is not able to detect then it will fail now I will click on save I will run the bot so bot will first attach to that web page and then it will try to move mouse to the image so now the tolerance is 5 see it has been able to immediately move the mouse to the top left of that image right so it was instant and within five seconds it was able to find that image as well sometime what happens is if the image is very grayed out or you know there are if it is not easily detectable in that case it will fail right so in that case what you can do is when you are using move mouse to image action it is always recommended that you use this on error right and uh, so you can hear what you can do is you can choose that go to next action right click on new rule and you can set a variable so you can set the value so whenever this this action which it will fail right you can so let's say if I put new value is equal to one right if this move mouse to image action will not fail the value of new where will be nothing right if it is if it will fail if, if the bot is not able to find that image on the page then the value of this new web will be set as 1 
in that case you can come to the conditionals and use the if action to check if the value is 1 if it is 1 then you can you can block the ticket or if you want to retry this action you can do that or you want to send email to yourself informing that okay there was an error while detecting the image and so this was the issue so you can in that case you can in get yourself notification about the issue which has occurred in the bot right so this is how you can choose move mouse to image action in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day